Debbie. And this is Veronica. And we are rethinking uh, some math worksheets. These two worksheets are both are asking children to determine which set has more, which is less, or are they equal. And as you can see by looking at them, in both instances, this work is um, asking the children to think very abstractly. So we have some ideas on how this could be made more concrete. Yeah. This one, first of all, this one's really confusing because we had looked at it and we weren't exactly sure what they were asking, asking them to do because kids might even look line by line. We had talked about that too. So is it line by line? Is this a set? Is this a set? Mm -hmm. We weren't Apparently, sure. Apparently I think they want them to circle the, the, the symbol. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So um, one of the ways that we could do a more than less than game is a simple card game called War. And we're looking at numbers one through five. Mm -hmm. So what we did beforehand to get ready for this is we took out all the cards. We have aces, two, three, fours, and fives. Mm -hmm. Um, part of this is because um, children need to get really fluent with um, numbers up to 10, so the same set could be used mm -hmm. for that as well. So let's We also both have um, five cubes next to us because if we're all unsure which one is more, we're going to have an opportunity to put them together and compare, so we'll do that a couple times. Mm -hmm. Just different levels of learning. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh! We both perfect. have a four. We both oh. have four. I'm going to put one, two, three, four. Check we'll it out. Them next to each other, and we They're would actually same. use the math talk that these two are equal. These two are equal. All righty. So let's play again. One, two, two three. three. Oh, let's see. I what thought happened. we removed all the aces. No, the aces are there for okay. ones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling them ones. Okay. So I have my one. And I have my two. Oh, she has more than me. Mm -hmm. So she actually wins okay. this one. Okay, he has less. I have less. All right. We'll so do one more we'll do example one here. More. One, two, oh. <laughs> oh, one, two, two, three. Oh, here we go again. again. It's Same another one. match. So they are equal. So you can see how we're using this um, language, and we're also having some concrete representations of the number so that we know, we really can see visually, um, is it more or less or equal? It's nice to have this opportunity out for kids who maybe don't always just, they, they can't do it in their head. This is so abstract to look, if they were looking at a three and Debbie had a five, they might be like, I don't know which one is more mm -hmm. or less. Mm -hmm. And so always have counters available when they're doing mm -hmm. some sort of work with numerals in case they don't understand what yeah. that numeral represents. Then there's another game um, that helps with the more, less, and same are equal. Um, and Veronica has made the worksheet to go with this. Yeah, it's like a green bean. It, it, well, it's I call them green bean counters. But um, we made these with lima beans. And so one side of it is spray painted with blue, and the other one is spray painted with green. You can get non-toxic spray paint. Um, I believe I got this spray paint at Walmart as well. And Veronica made this chart that says more green same or more blue and I loved what she said right before um, we started filming that if she was really doing this with mm -hmm. her kindergartners she would have written green in green and blue in blue so mm -hmm. even if they weren't reading those words yet they would know what that meant mm -hmm. especially if you print it on the computer all right so I put those out I can coordinate I pour them out and then I go ahead and group them together and I look which one do I have more of greens or blues and if I don't know, I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I can Children. even put them next to each other. Yes, and say like, this way now they're doing it with one-to-one -one correspondence to double check and see which huh? one is really more. All right, Debbie, so? More blue, so one tally goes in the more blue column. Want to shake it one more time? Mm -hmm. We intentionally picked 10 lima beans that we had in here work with a larger number right there. So we can line them up. Which one has more? They may not even need to count this one because it looks pretty obvious. So I think this one is more blue, or more green. More green, so a tally goes over here. Um, and then there's another chance, after doing this a number of times, there's another chance to use the numbers more of one, um, less of one, or the same by saying, oh, if, let's say, and I'm just gonna make this up, Let's say we did it a few more times, and we found out that one, two, three, four, five times we had more green, two times we had more blue, so there was more times that we found that there was more green. So it's just another opportunity mm -hmm. to be able to use that kind of language. Yeah. Mm -hmm.